Welcome to another episode. I'm Kay the Guy. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about the earth box system and how to set it up, what's included, how the system works, and how I set up my boxes in order to ensure that my plants are getting the right nutrition and the right setup for really good fruiting and flowering. Coming up. Thanks guys for joining me on this episode as we're talking about our earth boxes. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video if it brings you some value. So today we're talking about the earth box, which what we have here is essentially a 15 gallon pot with a tray, a catch tray here. This tray here is where your soil is gonna sit and this tube is where the watering tube is gonna go down. Now this system is set up so that you do bottom up watering. Now the great thing about that is that you'll always know how much water is in your system because all you need to do is just look down your feeding tube, your watering tube, and you'll be able to see your water level. Just if it's really dark in there, just throw a flashlight down and you'll be able to see exactly how much water you have left in your system. So it's a really easy way to be able to water. And the system also comes with an auto watering sensor that you can just drop right down in the tube and kind of set it and forget it. Going over all the different parts and pieces, you have your box, you have your tray, you have your feeding tube, and then also you have your covers, which these covers are meant to be more or less the mulch layer on the top of your box. So inside your mulch layer here, you have the hole for your tubes. So all you do is once you have your system set up, you put the cover over the top, you poke your hole where your plant's gonna be, and then this is your mulch layer. Your tube goes down in through the top here. It's a really cool system because it does retain most of your moisture and it also helps uh, allow your mycelium as well as your other beneficials on the top layer to grow underneath this cover. They do make several accessories for this system other than the automated water system. They have a set of caster wheels which makes this system super easy to slide around. I opted for the caster wheels mainly because uh, it allowed me to kind of move these things around easily plus it gives me about another inch or two off the ground that the system isn't just laying on the ground. So it makes it a lot easier for me to actually uh, move it around, clean the floor, um, allow for, for bugs or anything else really to, to not get into the box because they'd have to climb up the wheels and go through the top of the box. This really allows uh, uh, kind of ease of use as well as mobility uh, for the box. The other parts and pieces that they make for this box is they do make a trellis system that'll come up and over the top of this, if you're growing tomatoes or cucumbers, um, the other thing that they actually make is a stand. So this will actually sit above if you don't want to use the caster wheels on a stand that's more a raised bed type that allow you to kind of water and, and do everything with your plants at waste level. So the first thing we're going to do when we set up our box here, we're going to go ahead and put these caster wheels on. So they just slide right into these holes in the bottom. And they do have uh, two sets or a pair of locking casters too. So just in case if it's on a little bit of a hill or an incline, you can, uh, you can lock them so they won't go anywhere. All right, so the first part is set up. I got my caster wheels on. The next thing I'm going to do, which I'm gonna show you here, I'll get you a close up, but there's two ports in the bottom of these corners here and these are what's called your wick. This area here of the box is where you're gonna compact soil down. So as you're watering from the bottom, the wick is gonna pull the moisture from the bottom of the tank up through your soil. So that's how this system works, watering down up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my soil here, and I'm gonna leave all of the ingredients, the box, the entire setup, in the link below. So if you guys wanna follow along or you wanna try the system out, you can go ahead and click those links down there. So like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my soil down into the area where the wick is. And I'm gonna press it down nice and tight to really make sure that that wick is solid. I don't want a loose wick. 
because then it won't wick, uh, it won't pull that moisture, that water up through here. Okay, there's the first one. And there's my second wick. So now my two wicks are set up. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my water tube. My water tube being set up right there in the corner. Now there is a specific way you do wanna set this up and you wanna make sure that tray is sitting the right way. Now that my wicks are packed in, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my soil on top. A little will go through, but not a whole lot. Okay, I wanna keep adding till I have a good, decent, solid layer around the bottom so that it's not only covering my wick, but also the tray. And I'm packing it down lightly. The reason why I'm packing it down is because for me, I'm gonna be transplanting plants from uh, these one gallon pots right into this system here. And so when I, when I transfer it, I wanna make sure that the amount of soil that's there is gonna reach just about the top of this system when I plant it. So I wanna have a nice solid base to it. I drop my transplant into the box itself. It's basically fully set up and ready. Okay, now that I have my 707 soil down, I'm going to add two amendments to this Root Organics because this is a very light soil. So I'm gonna add two ingredients. Now these are Build-A-Soil products. One is the Colorado worm castings. And basically this is just solid fertilizer. Worm castings are one of the best fertilizers you can add to soil uh, for basically as plant food. The second thing we're gonna add in there is the Oli Mountain Fish Compost, which is basically a, a compost derived with fish. So another solid fertilizer that's gonna kind of complete the nutritional cycle between worm castings and then fish compost in with our soil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about two handfuls and I'm gonna spread this worm castings as a layer over the top. About two handfuls, that's about all I need. And then I'm gonna take the, uh, the fish compost Add the fish compost in about two handful layers. This is real dark and rich. It smells like solid, solid soil. Really good stuff. Get a little more over here. And then another layer of 707. Make sure my pot stays Nice and solid right there. I'm, I want the pot here in the corner. The plant's roots are going to stretch to this direction. They're gonna go out as opposed to going down. That's okay. They will do that. You don't have to plant this directly inside the box. Um, you really kinda want the space for that, those plant roots to go this way. They will naturally go toward more food and more space. So once it's filled this area, they will let naturally migrate in this direction. And Root Organics does have uh, fertilizer in there. It does have some worm castings, um, some mycorrhizae, which is your beneficial fungus, as well as some bacteria in there. But again, it is a light soil, so it's not you know, packed full of nutrition. So that's why we're amending. Again, we're gonna go another handful after I did a few inches of that soil on top. Another handful of worm castings. Two handfuls, excuse me. Make sure to pack it in around this water tube. And then we're going two handfuls of the fish compost. Just spreading evenly across the entire box. There's one and a second one. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have one of these garden dealers and you're outside and you're gardening a lot, I would definitely recommend one. They will save your knees, save your back, uh, being elevated slightly and being on this cushion. 
it's just it's kind of a lifesaver when you're out and you're you're tending to flower beds or garden boxes or all kinds of places um, your back gets sore after a while and it's definitely something that really a tool that'll help again all of my tools that i'll use including the amendments are going to be down in the description so we'll get a few more inches to the top as you can see it's starting to fill up toward the top here but we're getting these layers of nutrition getting built as we're getting closer toward the top. And I am, like I said, I'm building this around that one gallon because most of the time I do like to propagate in a smaller uh, container before transferring to a large container. This container, you can plant your seeds directly in here. So if you plan on planting uh, cucumber or lettuce or carrots, tomatoes, really anything, radishes, um, you can plant directly in here. You don't have to set it up with this one gallon like I did. I'm just basically making it set up for the next plants that are in one gallons that I'm gonna be transplanting into this pot. Okay, we're gonna do one more layer. So that was two layers so far. We're gonna do a third layer, getting those worm castings, two handfuls. two handfuls of the fish compost and that's going to be the last layer so now we're going to cover this with our soil and I like to leave a little bit of space at the top we are going to add a little bit more as a top dressing to this so we have basically our soil mixture the recipe that I've just showed you that we add to the box and then we're going to do a top dress layer, which is kind of like the icing on the cake. Perfect. So now, as you can see, we have the box set up. We have the, uh, the place where our pot's going to go. But essentially, this is how I'm layering it between the root organics and our two amendments to this potting soil that we've basically just created. So now, uh, before we finish this pot off, we're going to do our three top dress ingredients, which is going to be a Build-A-Soil craft blend. It's going to be Build-A-Soil top dress and a Bokashi mix. So the Bokashi is the first ingredient that I add, and I'll add probably just one uh, handful to the top. And this is our inoculum. What this does is adds another layer of nutrition. But what's in here is, is biochar, which is basically burnt wood or cooked wood, uh, microcomplete from RootWise, uh, as well as a bunch of other nutrition, alfalfa meal, a bunch of other meals to feed the microbes as well as to feed the plant. Um, but just a balanced set of inoculum to more or less get this box going, get it alive, get it full of microbes. Again, uh, um, a 15 gallon container is kind of the smallest container you wanna use. Again, uh, why I'm using this earth box, uh, but it is the smallest container you wanna use for a living organic system. If you try to do a living organic system, anything smaller than a 15 gallon, it doesn't really work as well. And what I mean by that is that it doesn't stay alive and continue thriving throughout. You have to continually uh, uh, re-amend with your, your inoculum, your top dressings, all those other feed and those kinds of things. So it doesn't really continue on its own, if that makes sense. So now we have our Bokashi. The next thing we're gonna add is our craft blend and then top it off with our chop dressing. So the craft blend is a, a combination or it's a blend of 15 ingredients, um, all your minerals, vitamins, basically plant-based, and uh, there's just a whole lot to it. Um, I'll leave a description to what's all, actually all in the ingredients list because it's quite a few. Um, but it's just solid plant food. It's a blended food. So we're going to do probably one, one big handful in the top layer there. Okay, the last ingredient that I add to my box is gonna be my top dressing. Now my top dressing is basically uh, uh, another blend, uh, more worm castings. Obviously you can see all this dark rich matter here, but again, this is all fertilizer on top here. 
Worm castings is one of the main ingredients to top dress, but it has so much more in there. Top dress is also good for plants that are, need a little bit more phosphorus toward their flowering cycles. And we're just adding this layer, which is covering the layer that we just made. You know that you've had, you know you have a good solid layer when all the black is covering basically all the light colored. Once I've fully covered this entire area, my amendments are complete and I can transplant or plant my plants directly into here. Now once I water, I'm going to water through this tube and that's going to wick up. To get this box started though, I am going to top water maybe once or twice to get this solid amount of moisture throughout the entire soil so there's no dry pockets. Um, it's really good to make sure that you don't have any dry pockets in the beginning, that way that your system stays moist throughout the entire area. Now that we're done, this tube will go through this hole right here. The cover goes over the top. I am going to water after I'm done transplanting my plants, but I'm going to water through the top here. I'm going to put this cover on and after that I am good to go. This system, um, you can add to it. You can re-amend. I could add some more Bokashi in there periodically as the plants are growing. But the other great thing about this system is that now that it's got the inoculum to stay alive, what I can do is once my, my plant or uh, my 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 vegetable or whatever it is, the foliage from that, I can actually take that, break it down, chop it up, put it on top here, add a handful of more Bokashi, close the system up and water it, and that system will actually reignite. And it'll allow me to actually continue planting without having to take all this soil out. I can actually keep planting again and again and again and use all my scraps almost like a compost, let them decompose, let all the microorganisms in here do what they do best, and essentially eat that all up, and this box is ready to go for my next planting cycle. So that's a great thing about an earth box is that you don't have, to, once I put the soil in, you don't have to keep taking it out and putting it back in. Uh, once it's kind of like one and done at this point. So that's the great thing about this. If you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comment section below. Like this video if it brought you some value and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos.